Welcome to this episode of the Camtasia 9 Survival Guide, where I'll show you some quick time and frustration saving tips for saving your Camtasia screen capture recordings in version 9. And we're starting right now. Hi, Lon Naylor here, and if you're new to this channel, be sure to click the subscribe button below and the little bell thingy to stay up to date with the latest greatest Camtasia tips and tricks. Here's the issue we're going to look at today. Recording your computer screen is the bread and butter video content we all look to Camtasia to provide. The Camtasia Recorder is the app that lets us do that, of course, and normally in version 8, when we're finished recording, we hit the stop button or press F10 to end the recording session, at which point a window appears with a preview of the recording and the options to save and edit or just save. Choose a location for the recording file, give it a name, and we're good to go. What you might notice in Camtasia 9 is something a bit different going on. End the recording session the same way and... Um... What just happened? Good question. Here it is in a nutshell. Stopping the recording automatically saves and puts the recording in the media bin and on the timeline and closes down the Camtasia recorder. Here's why I don't really like that process. I mentioned that it automatically saves the recording. Yeah, right into the default Camtasia folder. And it gives it a file name of REC plus the date. This name gives me zero idea of what the recording content actually is or what project it belongs to. A much better best practice is to keep assets like recording files in a project directory and give them names that indicate what the content of the recording is so that you can place and identify them on the timeline in your project. To change the new recorder defaults back to something more manageable, open the Camtasia recorder. Go to Tools, Options, and on the General tab, click on File Options and select Ask for File Name, and click OK. Then click on the Program tab. There are a couple of things here we can do depending upon how you want to work. We're going to look at the Do This With My Recording drop-down menu, and to make a change here, you need to make sure the Hide Preview box is checked. Here are your options. The default is Auto, which is the Save In My Documents thing, if you want your recording automatically added to your media bin, choose this one. Personally, I don't work this way. Usually, I'm making a couple of recordings at a crack, and when I'm finished recording, I pull them all into the project to work on. You could also choose to produce right from the recorder, but since I almost always do some editing, I probably won't go with that. I select Save to give me the maximum control for keeping my projects organized. I also prefer to have the preview appear so I can make sure I didn't do anything stupid during recording. Hello, boy. So I'll make sure to uncheck the Hide Preview box once I've changed the drop-down setting. And that's it. My Camtasia 9 recorder will now function the same way as it did in Camtasia 8. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tip useful. To keep up to date with all the episodes in the Camtasia 9 Survival Guide, be sure to sign up for the special newsletter so I can send you new tips, tricks, tutorials, and resources to help make your transition to Camtasia 9 as smooth as possible. Just click the link to sign up. Thanks again for watching, leave your questions and comments, and I'll chat with you soon.